this week you said that Meghan was being unfairly held responsible which I'll be honest I was surprised to hear you say that well I think that she I think that as a you know there is a narrative that that women are always to blame when you know when a man does something that we don't expect him to do um, and I think I was possibly thinking a little bit of the fact that I was labeled Lady Macbeth when I so like dared the, to the, have an the opinion pushy about wife my trope. husband's exactly yeah, the pushy wife yeah. trope and I think that um, I think that she is I, I think that there is quite a sort of misogynistic attitude towards her in the sense that people think oh she's come along and she's stolen away our lovely Harry and she's you know with her womanly wiles and her witchy ways and all that kind of stuff and I think that that's I don't think that's the case I think that Harry is you know a he's a grown up and he can make his own decisions and of course she will influence them but I don't think that she I think she's she's been a catalyst for him in a funny kind of way I don't think yeah. she's the cause we're, we're very and, cynical aren't we about Hollywood confidence yeah in this country yeah, but I, I think, think yeah. I think that you know Harry is, is damaged because of obviously what happened to his mother would be damaging for anyone it has been very damaging for him I think he feels a lot of anger towards his father because of the way he treated Diana and all that kind of stuff and that's difficult and I think when you have a child as well I know this from my own experience that when you have your own children your own childhood experiences suddenly sort of boil, they bubble back up again and I think that um, you know he he's I think his 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 marriage to Megan I think he chose a woman who was very separate from his upbringing you know mm. who was different who was uh, you know as we all said a real breath of fresh air someone completely uh, you know from a completely different background that opened up all sorts of other options you know she's absolutely not Megan is not the sort of standard bread for a royal nice Sloan you know who's you know glossy and properly educated in order to attract an, an upper-class male she's very very different and I think there's um, I think that his choice you know reflects that and I think so he does also bear responsibility yeah. for what they're doing and I and I in a funny kind of way part of me thinks that I rather respect him for it because I think there's a there, it takes real courage for a man to go against everything that he stands for and you know Harry as we said is is, is an integral part of the royal family um, in order to make the woman he loves happy now I don't know whether his actions will make her happy. Yeah. We don't know whether that's ever possible. But but I sort of res I kind of like it in a funny kind of a way. Um, although I do think, as I said before, the way they've done it has just been absurd and ridiculous and, and yeah. incredibly incompetent and childish. What, what do you